Good morning and welcome to Sutherland in Northern Cape. Sutherland, of course, known as one of the coldest towns in South Africa, is also home to the Southern African Larger Telescope, known internationally because of its size, it's the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere, because it's so very sensitive that it can see billions of light years uh, into the sky, bringing us a host of data that makes scientists uh, very, very excited. Well, uh, Science and Technology Minister Lady Pando is touring the facility today and she, she joins us now. Oh, good morning, Minister. Uh, good morning and morning to your viewers. Um, what does the Southern African Larger Telescope mean for the people of South Africa? Well, I think uh, one of the first things is that South Africans need to be proud that they're investing in science and technology, but more particularly that they're joining a number of international partners in ensuring that in Africa we host internationally ranked infrastructure for science research. SALT is uh, Southern Africa's largest telescope and uh, is built by a consortium uh, of countries that include South Africa as a major partner. And it puts us really uh, in the international domain uh, in terms of research in the astronomy sciences. Helps us to train young people at the masters and PhD level to produce our own engineers, our astrophysicists, mathematicians, but also allows many international researchers to come to Sutherland, to the Northern Cape, to South Africa, to do their research work, which gets them world uh, acclaim. So really, this science puts us right in the center of the world of research. Scientists um, that we spoke to at SALT uh quite excited. There's been quite a number of discoveries, a black hole, an explosion in the sky that they um, observed uh, as, as recently as a week. Um, in terms of, of that, um, are you happy with what we are getting from SALT? Well, yes, I've been uh, very excited. We had a big international conference last year uh, based primarily on the research being done through the SALT uh, instrument and we were pleased to record the number of researchers that are being produced at a senior level and of course the indicator for good science is uh, your publishing. Large numbers of papers have come from the work done at SALT. In addition, we also have just amazing international co-authorship and this shows that scientists in other parts of the world want to work with South African scientists want to do research here. And the papers that are being published are being used by other researchers to do even more work. So, you know, again, you can't be uh, more proud of your scientists and your country than we are about Sutherland and SALT. SALT well, has been around for a couple of years now. Um, for a child um, at Sutherland, the one working on the computer there, what does it mean for them? Well, I think... For, for young people, uh, what we've seen, what you see here, comes out of our investment uh, in Sutherland. And of course, the high school, uh, we would like to see young people emerging competent in maths and science. We'd like them to get bursaries to study engineering or technology um, and to proceed beyond a, an undergraduate degree to senior postgraduate work. We have some young people here who are already completing their PhDs and are proceeding to postdocs and all of them are studying in the astronomy sciences. That's what we hope for the children of Sutherland and in investing in them knowing computer technology, studying science, studying mathematics, we're preparing them for the future. Thank you very much, Minister. Also joining us is the Premier of the Northern Cape, uh, Sylvia Lucas. Uh, Madam Premier, um, SALT and the SKA in one province, we, we're going forward. Should I say more than to say in this, it's all happening in the Northern Cape. So you can imagine, I think it's actually uh, telling you how we feel about it, because this, the spin-offs thereof, 
is actually putting us, like the minister has said, squarely in the global arena as a province from where information, technology, science are actually developing. So we are extremely proud of the fact that we do have the facilities here and also the fact that in terms of tourism and also in terms of other spinners like in the education we are benefiting and we are even going to, I think we going henceforth, we are going to discuss how we can actually link the science to development in the area and in the province. So you can imagine that for us as the Northern Cape, it is very special. It is something that that is not happening every day, that you become so lucky that not only the observatory is in your province, but also the radio, uh, the Mirkat uh, SKA is in, in your province. So you, you can imagine. That is why I've, I've just yesterday said to some people that I feel the Northern Cape is in the center of, tech, of science and technology and we must make sure that the generations to come will benefit from what is happening.